Tain Edurome project was set up to extend Edurome into countries that had limited or no existing Edurome coverage. So it was established as part of Tain group of projects that are funded by the European Union. Uh, we were given funding to uh, deploy Edurome into an additional eight countries. So we've got participants from Afghanistan, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Laos, Nepal, Indonesia and Vietnam. So the project partners are Arnett as the project managers, uh, supported by Singarine from Singapore, Rians from New Zealand and Kisti and JNU from Korea. So Arnett's playing the role as the project manager and we're conducting the, the training sessions and we're supported by the project partners in developing the training materials. So the training's being delivered by a number of methods, so over video, we've conducted four training sessions by video with all the partners and participating countries throughout the world joining, with a workshop being held in New Zealand for the participants to get hands-on experience in configuring Edurome. Participants are given the training material and access to uh, online virtual machines where they can practice configuring Edurome so that when they go back to their own country uh, they can set it up on their own infrastructure. So the participants learn uh, all the basics about Edurome, what it is, uh, how to configure it and then how to train people back when they get, uh, get back in their own country. They can train universities on how to join Edurome. At the end of the project there will be Edurome infrastructure set up in each of the participating countries as well as three institutions in each country. Uh, it's, it's about helping the community, so it's, it's helping others and being able to benefit a lot of people. So the deployment of Edurome will definitely help the research and education community in Bhutan. We learn about different kind of deployment of Edurome so it definitely will help us uh, back in our country uh, how to deliver one for the universities. Because what happened is in, in my country, Indonesia, uh, so many people using different kind of technologies. So yesterday workshop with the edge room, uh, it gave me a lot of choices. So I can choose one of them to be, you know, to basically to accelerate uh, the deployment of edge room in, in my home country, Indonesia. Now we are, have around 35 universities in Pakistan which are using EDROM now and the management and the universities are very happy now because the, when the scholars go outside Pakistan or when they travel between universities so they are able to connect without asking for the password so they are very happy with this.